Oh, 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 good afternoon. Today is the day. There she is, the early birthday girl. Two weeks early. But, are you excited? Very. We're gonna go, once we get ready, we're gonna finish off the nachos from yesterday. Mm -hmm. We did not eat those all. We did not eat all of them. Don't worry. Um, and then go downtown and maybe explore a little bit of downtown, just walk around before, because the show's actually at 5.30, so it's pretty yeah, it's early. it's early, it's soon. Yeah, so by the time we actually get downtown, there might not actually much to do. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be dual camera, because I don't know. The instructions were kind of vague on the website if we could bring our G7X in. So we're just not gonna, we're gonna bring our cell yeah. phones. I got plenty of high quality camera footage on there. Yeah. So. <laughs> You're the cutest. We're about to head out for the day. But we, I don't think we've mentioned today what why today is so special for Evie. Why is it so special to Evie? We brought Eve home a year ago. A year ago. Today. today. We'll put a. Today. Can we put in the corner um, the video that we did show, yeah. it, welcoming her to the Fab Five 207? so little. What, two months? Three months? Three months old. Three months old when we got her. Barely three months. Mm -hmm. And now it's she's our perfect little trio. It, she is. Ready? Yeah, let's, let's head downtown. New and fun adventures. Yeah. That's not tonight. <laughs> we got issues. Alrighty, so we are just parking now. Um, the concert is in three hours, and we just drove past the venue, and there's lines outside. Oh, hold on. It's so dark. Okay, we're parking in the garage. Want to know perks? Orlando perks. Ten dollar parking. Yeah. If we were to park in downtown Chicago this for close five. To a venue. Plus hours, It'd be 50, it would 60 bucks. easy be fifty dollars. We were hoping to like maybe we'll explore after, depending on what time it's over. We were hoping to like explore a little bit more of the downtown area without yeah. a rush. That's why we got down here three hours early. But dang, <laughs> there's a line. I'm already, so excited. The line isn't that long, so it's like exciting that we could potentially get a really good spot yes. if we have one. Because we're stubborn, we got no problem. All right, so we parked in this garage, but we're fairly certain because this is the back side of it. That is Andrew McMahon's bus, right there. And so I might have to, Sarah might have to go, or Sarah might stay in the line, and I'll go find a 7-Eleven or a Starbucks because okay. I promised her a Red, Red Bull. Bull, and I'm gonna grab myself. I'm trying to get this horchata Frappuccino. Frappuccino from Starbucks that I saw. Here's the line for the beach. Um, is that what you call it? This is VIP stuff, most likely. So maybe we don't have to wait in line. Because everybody's got wristbands. Everybody. Everybody's got wristbands. VIP wristbands. So here we are. Andrew McMahon, 5'6". I don't know when I'll get used to the fact, if I ever will, but they've got this beautiful lake and like nature and fountains and everything and these big old trees in their downtown area. Like, we... Still getting used to the fact that there's not Starbucks in every corner down here. So we're walking an extra like half mile, which is not far at all to a Starbucks on the other side of Lake Eola to see if there's an orchata frappuccino and then we're gonna walk back and probably hop in line just because we ate right before we came. The show's in three hours. I don't know when the door, or two and a half hours. I don't know when the door's open. Yeah, we'll see. But this girl's got the jitters to get in line. I Super do. pumped. Something else that's cool is that the show is 12 and over. Like yeah. With it being at 5.30, like there was like a young kid in um, line for the VIP. That's kind of fun. It is fun. I just hope we get a good spot, and I'm pumped because Sarah was doing research on the, the set list, and like, it's not a big like jam rock fest, yeah. which it could be because of his music, but it's also he does a lot of acoustic and. It's all acoustic. It's like the name of the show is like the pen and piano tour. It's yeah. an acoustic show. Also, um, it's just like he he's with a couple of other people, but like there's no openers. Like they just play with him. So hopefully so this it's is three hours of just. It's just McMahon like straight him. From all of his different bands over the years. Look at that beautiful. I like that that's like, that's like the icon of Orlando. Yeah, I like that too. The city beautiful. Yeah. So we're in the Thornton, Thornton Park Starbucks. It makes me feel like we're back in Chicago because it feels just like a piece of life. Look at her. With her a girl in her, her Red Bull. A girl in her Red Bull. This wall back there, but it looks like it looks like a downtown Chicago Starbucks, just like life. Because the Disney ones are like Disney vibe. Right. Try it. She's not a big coffee fan, but she's a big horchata fan. Does it taste like it? It doesn't taste like horchata, but it's good. 
Okay, so. Correction, I'm not a big orchard. But she really likes this, and so do I, but it's definitely just cinnamony. Look at this blue house. I could live in that house. That's gorgeous. Yeah. And this cobblestone the brick, or not cobblestone, but brick street. There's a lot of like Orlando that's outside of the theme parks that is just like very quaint and like cute, mm -hmm. you know? We're gonna go back to the, the concert venue and just wait it out. <laughs> this is us trying a selfie. As it's raining, what is this? We didn't bring any of everything. I, I mean, like we said, if Florida's gonna be back to humid and normal weather, we need, to to. we need to anticipate it being the afternoon rain again, which is, I think it's already over, or we're just covered by these trees. But we're walking scenic Lake Eola. There's Walt Disney something. Yeah, we've shown that before. That's Walt Disney, that rainbow band show right there is the Walt Disney Amphitheater. That's where I was for the IOC run a couple weeks ago. So. <laughs> the VIP people went inside, they're doing a pizza party and meet and greet. Yeah, we looked it up. But the general they mission. Get a shirt too and pins oh. and a lithograph. I'm sorry we didn't get those tickets. But we're gonna hop in line right here. And the line isn't too long, so minus those like maybe 50 people that got it in a, in front of us, we're looking good because there's like 30 people right here. Pretty solid. You in line? Yeah. Where's your fast bus? In the magic band. <laughs> goes all the way down to the corner, past it, so it wraps on the corner, this is all general, and then on the other side of the door is the VIP, which still got longer again because they're all done with their meet and greets. So there's the door and that's where VIP starts.
USA, but I've been to literally probably. We went to like over a hundred concerts. And I alone have been over to like probably, well, pretty much the same as you now. Right. I went like four, four years, five years of country center plus all those other concerts. Right. So yeah, we've been well over a hundred concerts in our life of various genres: Lady Gaga, country Peter's rock, Blink One Eight Two, Kanye West, Kanye West Paul McCartney, Fifteen Years of Country <laughs> Thunder. Yeah, we've gone to a lot of concerts. That I think was my number one. Yeah, I. The, Musicality. No, I mean, you guys can tell we were very close. We were second row. We had we had a neighbor that had a little bit too much to drink, to put it nicely. And um, if but her then, friends didn't notice, yeah. If people next to us didn't tell her friends, yeah, it could have been a bad situation because right, she it could have it could have ruined the concert because she was leaning so far back. She was basically going in a circle. <laughs> but She's, she was like she was falling on Sarah. Right. She stepped on my feet. She was constantly. I was telling her, "Be careful! Be careful!" Like trying to be nice. Um, but she got to the point where she had to hang on to the bar in the front, and to say like that was going on and was still our best concert we've ever been to. Like, holy smokes! The the talent. He was with them. Um, let me find their actual names. I think my eye is deteriorating. <laughs> I mean, just having an eye. I don't know if I got punched and I didn't know it, or if I'm getting pink eye. Okay, Alan Stone, Zach Clark, and Bob Oxley. Bob Oxblood was in Jack's Mannequin and something corporate. Um, cool. Yeah, it was really cool. And it was like quirky and it started out with Mr. Rogers. It was set up like you were in like living room. It was like a really cool, it was three hours. Three hours of heaven. <laughs> it was incredible. Like they're all so talented. Um, so that was, that was just a dream come true. Happy birthday. Sarah. Thank you. Welcome. I'm so happy. I went like a month and a half without telling her. I was gonna w tell her t this morning. I was gonna wake up this morning, and be like, what should we do today? Should we go to Africa? Should we go to Michigan? No, let's go see Andrew McMahon. It's all right. It was still a great time. No, it was it was incredible. Thanks for bearing with our non Disney content. I know you guys say you like it. Well, anyways, we're going to Disney Springs. We are going to Disney Springs, so a little bit, a little taste of, of <laughs> a little Disney. taste of our oh yeah, a little taste of Disney, but also like a little taste of something else that we. Really, really love. My eyes Peter, you're a I think you're my eyes are Well, left one party <laughs> to go to another party. We're gonna get some pizza. There it is. Wait, you thought it, I just realized it doesn't really even have a sign. <laughs> it's kind of overpowered by Marie and Enzo's. Right, it's kind of like a sub. <laughs> it's like the side kitchen. So we're eating outside because it's gorgeous out. I'm actually surprised at the price. It's kind of hard to see, but I, we got this very fresh, just came out of the oven. We saw it get pulled out, pepperoni pizza. And what was this? Prosciutto de Parma. And then two San Pellegrinos, and it was 22 bucks, which wasn't too bad. I thought it was gonna be more. Really? Yeah. I thought this would at least come with like chips or something. It's gonna be delicious, so. It is gonna be delicious, I'm just saying. Cause this was nine and that was seven. Which isn't terrible. I mean, it's standard like, Disney, kind of. This is like basically the same size as Pinocchio's, and Pinocchio's is 11. And that True. was seven. True. And this is, this is thicker and fresher and more sure. authentic, probably. Wait a minute. We've never been to this Enzo's hideaway before. Never. Should we go there and see what the, what all the rage is about? Okay. We don't know if it's gonna stay or not. I thought I heard it was staying, but as you can see, World of Disney classic entrance with no stitch. I'm so upset that I need. Some Giardelli to comfort my soul after such an atrocity. We are home, going to bed, and it's before midnight. I'm working from home tomorrow. Whoop whoop, making fresh, awesome coffee in the morning. Yay! Thank you, Andrew Gaman, for an amazing show. It was the best ever. Um, we'll put some links down below. Check out his foundation, Dear Jack Foundation. Mm -hmm. It's about leukemia because he battled it 12 years no, it's ago. it's not about leukemia. It's about, I mean, there's also a documentary that I'll also link that is about his cancer battle. Um, so basically, like, when you're, like, 16, 15, 16, 17, and you're not really a child anymore, but you're not considered an adult, there's a lot, or there was before the foundation. I think it's done a lot of good work. Um, a lot of uncertainty and a lot of, like, issues that came up when he was dealing with it, so he wanted to bring awareness to it, so... Mm -hmm. That's what the Dear Jack Foundation does. Good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>